Hello, I am Dr. Francisco Javier Jimenez, a clinical pharmacist and professor at the University of Puerto Rico School of Pharmacy. Since 2016, I have been training and supporting pharmacists to provide and enhance the immunization service at the community pharmacy in Puerto Rico. Today, I'll talk about the role of vaccination in the prevention and management of cardiovascular diseases. Vaccination is one of the most successful public health interventions in reducing infectious disease spread, preventing complications and even death from vaccine-preventable diseases. Vaccine-preventable infectious diseases contribute significantly to the development of cardiovascular complications. People living with cardiovascular diseases are at increased risk of different infections and can develop complications such as heart failure, myocardial infarction, arrhythmia, and stroke during the acute viral infection or years after recovering from the infection. There are significant associations between influenza infection and cardiovascular-related hospitalization and death, especially among the elderly. Influenza viral infections contribute significantly to morbidity and mortality throughout the world. People living with cardiovascular diseases are particularly at risk and could benefit the most from influenza vaccination. People who receive both influenza and pneumococcal vaccinations are at reduced risk of mortality and cardiac arrest. Tetanus, diphtheria, and pertussis infections can also result in severe cardiovascular complications. In addition, people living with cardiovascular diseases are more susceptible to COVID-19 and its complications. Physicians, pharmacists, and other healthcare providers must assess patient immunization status and recommend specific vaccines at every encounter. Therefore, people living with cardiovascular diseases are advised and strongly encouraged to receive the following vaccines. Influenza, pneumococcal, tetanus, diphtheria, and pertussis, Soster, and COVID-19 vaccine. Overall, vaccines can positively impact cardiovascular health. Clinicians, practitioners, administrators, and researchers must collaborate to develop and implement targeted interventions to enhance vaccination rates among people living with cardiovascular diseases. I really appreciate your attention. My expectation is that you benefit yourself from the vaccines available and promote vaccination to protect people with cardiovascular diseases around the world.